a great joy and privilege once again beloved and friends to be here this Sunday morning to minister the word of God I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world as I always say beloved and friends that we are living in a very sick and sinful world but Jesus Christ himself promised he says lo I'm with you always I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome isn't that great isn't that mighty that Jesus Christ promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he says in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come neither dwell it. Welcome this morning. Let's give a big hand. God bless you richly. It is a great joy and privilege this morning to be here to minister the word of God. I pray this morning, Father, that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint mortal man of clay, anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my body, my soul, my spirit, my mental faculties, and heal me from every virus, every sickness, every germs, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. As I minister your words this morning, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness into the hands I commit my life and I commit the words for this morning in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Beloved and friends, when the Antichrist arises, any form of worship to the Almighty, praise the Lord any form of worship to the Almighty God yes my friends will be forbidden did you get that this morning when he arrives we do not know whether the church will be raptured before the Antichrist which we believe begins to arrive on the world stage or whether the church will be raptured first beloved and friends and then we will begin to rise the ranks to take ultimate power hallelujah praise god but when we do what we do know is that uh, the church will not endure the great tribulation period the seven years there will be those who believe that the antichrist is already born yes he's born and living in this world right now a grown man on earth but we we do and we conform that uh, that beloved and friends hallelujah number three to, to this morning the great tribulation the great tribulation beloved and friends Matthew chapter 24 if you have your Bible verse 21 let's turn to it for then shall be the great tribulation hallelujah praise God such as was not uh, since the beginning of the world hallelujah to this time praise God no no hallelujah no neither shall be shall be beloved and friends hallelujah the great tribulation the great tribulation is another end time event event will be unbearable it will be unbearable for those on the earth after the rapture praise the lord jesus call it the great tribulation period which is coming very soon and so it shall be praise god there was never been any affliction of such intensity before praise god it will occur as the first and the last of itself beloved and friends hallelujah after the rapture and during the tribulation period the seven seals of God will be open praise the Lord the seven trumpets of God will be blown praise the Lord the seven bowls of God rata hallelujah will be poured out against the earth itself hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus the Bible describes the great tribulation beloved and friends as being so difficult so difficult that man shall Shall seek death, man shall seek death and will not find. Praise the Lord. Revelation chapter 9. 
verse 6, 6 clearly tells us in those days men will seek death and will not find it praise God they will endure to die they will desire to die and death will flee from them praise the Lord beloved and friends the great tribulation is so shocking it's so shocking at this quite literally changes the atmosphere in heaven praise the Lord hallelujah revelation chapter 8 praise the Lord Praise God, it clearly tells us that when he had opened the seventh seal, when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Can you can you all imagine the innumerable number of angels, beloved and friends, silent in heaven itself? All the saints that are in heaven, beloved and friends, hallelujah, praise God, silent. Praise the Lord. They were silent for half an hour. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. They were silent for half an hour in heaven. Yes, and the fifth angel sounded. The fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fell from heaven into the earth. Praise God. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Praise the Lord. And he opened the bottomless pit. And there arose the smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. Hallelujah. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Yes, and there came out of the smoke, came out of the smoke, locusts upon the earth. And unto them was given power, unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth yes beloved and friends neither any green thing neither any tree praise God but only those men which have not the seal of God on their the foreheads hallelujah and to them it was given that they should not kill kill them but uh, but they, but that they should be tormented five months praise the lord and their torment was as a torment of a scorpion beloved and friends when he strike it a man and in those days shall be shall men seek death men shall seek death and shall not find it yes and desire to die and death shall flee from them yes from them and the shapes of the locusts beloved and friends were like unto horse be paid unto battle on the heads were as it were crowns crowns like gold and their faces were as the faces of men yes and they had the and they had here as the hair of women beloved and friends and their teeth was as a teeth the teeth of lions beloved and friends and they had breastplate breast breastplate as it were breastplate of iron and sound of the wings and was as a sound of chariots and of many horses running to battle hallelujah and they had tails like unto scorpions beloved and friends and they were stings on their tails and the power was to hurt men hurt men five months and they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. Abaddon and the Greek tongue, yes, has his name Apollyon. Beloved and friends, one who is past, one who is past, and behold, behold, there, there, two, there, there two more woes, more after, two more woes after came. Hallelujah, praise God. Number four this morning, beloved and friends, the last battle the last battle and Christ Jesus return he returned himself Jesus returns and finally the beasts and the kings of the earth hallelujah and their armies praise God will gather together against Jesus Christ against his armies hallelujah praise God Revelation chapter 19 verse 20 and 21 clearly says and the beast was taken hallelujah and with him the false prophets 
and wrought that brought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast hallelujah and them them that worship the image the image the these were both cast alive into the lake of fire praise the lord burning with brim, brimstone burning with brimstone and the rentment the rentment was slain with the soul of him that sat on the horse beloved and friends which proceeded out of his mouth hallelujah praise god and all the fowls were filled were filled with their flesh praise the lord thank you jesus let's give the lord a great voice this morning christ does not have to struggle to win victory with all the preparations of the king of the earth beloved and friends to fight against jesus christ's sword will proceed out of his mouth of christ and destroy them all hallelujah no evil one will escape the, the word of christ the sword of christ the battle is going to be feast and there will be no escape route for the enemies beloved and friends also it is not only christ that will come in the final battle he will come with the armies of heaven the armies of heaven and his supremacy will be proven to the enemies beloved and friends the first two end the first two people will be cast into the lake of fire is the antichrist and the false prophets beloved and friends hallelujah praise god thank you jesus this is a very important message number five the millennium kingdom the millennium kingdom the believers who made the rapture and the that endured the great tribulation period will reign with Jesus Christ for a thousand years. Praise the Lord. This millennium reign of Christ, beloved and friends, will take place on earth. Yes, and not heaven as some people think. Praise the Lord. It will proceed the new heaven, the new heaven and the new earth. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. During the millennium kingdom of Jesus, Jesus Christ, there will be absolute peace, absolute peace and joy in this world. There will be nothing like wars, nothing like wars, fears, and anything that makes life unbearable for humans. Beloved and friends, this morning I let you know what will happen in the world. Number six today, the great white throne judgment. Yes, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. 11 and 12 clearly tells us and I saw a great white throne I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away hallelujah they were found no place praise the Lord for them hallelujah and I saw the dead and I saw the dead small and great stand before God Almighty and the books were open the books were open beloved and another book was open which is the book of life praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus in revelation chapter 6 through 8 clearly tells us we see the seals being opened one after another one after another yes beloved and friends after that the, the, one after another one after another the seal has been opened praise the lord and the order will see a time like never before never before hallelujah the earth will never see a time like this before in heaven in revelation chapter 8 and the seventh seal is open the seventh seal is open something strange something strange happens this is only time recorded beloved and friends in the bible where this will happen hallelujah praise god oh heaven oh heaven will be in silence beloved it will be in silence for half an hour half Half an hour 30 minutes uh, complete uh, and utter, on, uh, utter silence uh, in heaven for 30 minutes uh, half an hour all innumerable number of angels uh, 
beloved and friends and the saints of God that are now in heaven praise God we'll all be silent we'll all be silent for half an hour in heaven praise God why this morning am I telling this because the trumpets are about to sum hallelujah let's give my big hand upon all the trumpets are about to sum and for 30 minutes all of heaven beloved is silent praise the Lord thank you Jesus and then finally beloved and friends finally revelation chapter 8 verses 2 to 6 tells us it reads clearly it reads very clear and i saw the seven angels who stood before god almighty and to them were given seven trumpets seven trumpets then another angel having a golden censer a golden censer came and stood at the altar praise the lord he was given much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all all, all the saints upon the golden altar beloved and friends which was before the throne of Almighty God and the smoke of the incense hallelujah with the prayers of the saints ascend before God Almighty from the angels hand hallelujah and the angels took the censer praise God fill it with fire from the altar hallelujah and show it through it to the earth praise the Lord thank you Jesus and they were, were noises, thunderings, thunderings, lightnings, beloved, and an earthquake, an earthquake, beloved, and friends. I saw the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepare themselves to song. Praise the Lord and the seven angel which sung each each trumpet, beloved and friends. Praise the Lord this morning. The seven angels will sung, will sound their trumpet one by one, one by one, and each trumpet, each trumpet is associated with a major event, a major event, beloved and friends. This is why this is why all heaven is silent. Yes, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven knows that the seven trumpets means there is a sudden and dramatic halt dramatic halt in heaven everything stops beloved and friends absolutely everything stops and there is a silent in heaven about the space of half an hour praise the Lord Revelation chapter 8 verses 1 and when he had opened the seventh seal there was silent in heaven about the space of half an hour praise God and always think about this verse of the Bible and wonder why the whole of heaven will be silent for half an hour what could cause this silent beloved and friends that will have happened that will have made the angels the 24 elders and the four creatures that sounded the, the throne that surround the throne of God that could make them what could make them silence and suddenly we know that what always happens in heaven hallelujah the angels and the elders are always praising God and singing worshiping to him at all times beloved and friends and this should cause a such shout a yeah, loud shout in heaven at all times revelation chapter 4 verse 10 through 11 in the king james version and 4 and 5 12 elders fell down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that live it forever and ever praise the lord and cast their crowns they cast their crowns before the throne saying thou art worthy O lord to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created in all things and for thy pleasure they are were, were created heaven is a place where there is a lot of activity beloved and friends in heaven they were wheels that are spinning and angels with with wings that are flapping the, uh, the flipping the bible telling us that whether heaven is full of Cries and orchestras, heaven is full of horsemen and chariots of fire. But John says there is a time coming, beloved and friends, where they will be silent in heaven for half an hour. Praise God, where everything will stop. The worship towards God will stop. This is the only time recorded in scripture where the angels in heaven and the hosts of heaven don't worship God because they were silenced 
they, and, and this should give us a great concern this morning. They should make us think and ask a question today. Why was there silence in heaven? Why was there silence in heaven? In Revelation chapter 2 in the King James Version, we see that uh, was about that will happen and what made the angels silent. It says, and I saw the seven angels who stood before God and to him was given seven trumpets praise the Lord and seven ages were given seven trumpets which they are to blow seven different things will happen at the sound of these trumpets beloved and friends what are these things this morning what on earth will silent all the eight angels that will silent every cherubim and seraphim what will silent all all of the redeemed saints beloved I understand why the seven trumpets will silence the saints beloved that are in heaven at this time this morning because of the saints beloved and friends has never seen the judgment of God like this before but I am struggle to understand is how these events will even silence the angels Praise God, the angels. The reason this morning why I say this is because the angels have witnessed every calamity that has ever taken place. Hallelujah. Every natural disasters to ever that ever happened on this earth. The angels have witnessed, beloved and friends, every earthquake, every hurricane that happened upon this earth, every tornado. They have seen it all. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me this morning? Every one of God's judgment has ever happened on this earth. They have witnessed, they have witnessed, the angels saw the judgment of Adam and Eve. They were driven out of the garden and with flaming souls. Beloved and friends, the angels saw the judgment of Noah's generation with the flood and the high mighty men ran for the hills and feel. Beloved and friends, the angels witnessed the judgment of Sodom and Gomorrah and every earthquake, every hurricane, beloved, every tornado, every volcano eruption. Yes, they have seen it all. Praise the Lord. They are all standing in stun, in stun silence. Praise God. Looking down on the earth. Hallelujah. So what it is that stun all the heaven, that stun all heaven into silence. Beloved and friends, I will tell you what it is this morning. Morning. never in history of all mankind praise God as God unleash all of his fury at one time praise the Lord and now and now he is about he is about to and all of the inhabitants of heaven see the wrath of God building on building and building praise God as God waits for 30 minutes before he releases it Revelation chapter 8 verses 2 and I saw the seven angels that stand before God and to them were given seven trumpets seven trumpets and another angel having a golden censer came and stood at the altar he was given much incense, praise God, and he shall offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne, hallelujah, and the smoke of the incense, beloved and friends, with the prayers of the saints ascend before God from the angel's hands, hallelujah, and the angel took the censer, filled it with fire and the altar, and threw it to the earth, listen carefully, and they were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and the earthquakes. Praise God. And then we see the trumpets being blown. The trumpets being blown. The first trumpet caused the vegetation to be stuck. Yes, struck and a third of the trees were burnt up. And all the green grass was burnt up. Yes, beloved and friends. And the second, the second trumpet had caused the seas to be struck. Yes, beloved and friends John saw the second angel sounded his trumpet praise the Lord and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea hallelujah then the third trumpet caused beloved and friends the waters to be struck then the third angel sounded and a great star fell from heaven 
burning like a torch hallelujah and it fell on the third part of the rivers and on the springs of the water and then the fourth trumpet the fourth trumpet the heaven struck and the revelation chapter 9 verse 12 reads then the fourth angel sounded and a third of the sun was struck and a third of the moon and a third of the, the stars so that a third of them were darkened darkened and a third of the day did not shine praise the lord and likewise the night the, the, the night 13 13 i saw look and i heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice with a loud voice woo 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 to the inhabitants of the earth because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet of the, of the three angels who are about to song hallelujah and then the fifth angel the fifth trumpet and the fifth angel sounded and i saw i saw a star fell from heaven into the earth praise the lord and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit praise the lord and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit hallelujah as the smoke of a great furnace beloved and friends the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit and there came out of the smoke yes locusts locusts upon the earth and unto them was given power unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth yes neither any green thing hallelujah neither any tree praise the lord but only those men which have not the seal of god on their foreheads praise the lord thank you jesus and to them it was given that they should not kill them praise god but they should be tormented five months as i said before and their torment was as a torment of a scorpion beloved and friends when he strike it a man and in those days shall men seek death, they shall seek death and shall not find it. Praise God, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Praise the Lord, and the ships of the Lucas were like the horses prepared unto battle. I know why I'm repeating myself on the head, the heads, where it was crowns like gold, and the faces were the faces of men. Praise God, and they had hair as the hair of women yes and the teeth yes was the teeth of lions praise the lord thank you jesus and they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron and the sound of the wings was as the sound of chariots praise god and of, of many horses were running to battle and they had tails like unto scorpions beloved and they were stings on their tails stings on their tails and their power was to hurt men five months praise God and he had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit yes whose name in Hebrew tongue as I said earlier is Abaddon but in the Greek tongue has his name Apollyon Apollyon born who is past and behold Behold, behold, beloved and friends, there came two woes more thereafter. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name. These things will happen very soon upon this earth. But, beloved and friends, Jesus said in his words, He is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. He came into this world not to condemn this world, but the world through him might be saved. He says, Come now and let us reason together saith the Lord though your sins be scarlet it shall be white as snow though it be like crimson it shall be as wool my friends God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life go Jesus Christ has already paid the price for my sins and your sins he shed his blood seven times for you and for me 
he bridged the gap between man and God to reconcile us back to himself. The price has already paid. No self-righteous person shall enter heaven. No person, no matter what good you do, you can be the most self-righteous person. Good works and self-righteousness can never save you because Jesus Christ shed his blood for each and every one upon this face of this earth and without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin the son of God came and made the sacrifice for you and me this morning I have a few questions before I close these woes are coming upon this earth but beloved the question is today <coughs> are you saved are you saved today have you accepted the free gift of salvation is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Very soon we're going to see the world is changing. <clears throat> We are heading for the new world order, the one world government, the rule and the reign of the Antichrist for seven years. Beloved and friends, the 6,000 years will end in 2030 and during before that time, the Antichrist will have to rule for seven years. So that means that the rapture has to take place before the second coming of Jesus Christ. We are living in the very end times. But are you ready? Are you prepared, my friends? Are you prepared for what is coming upon this earth? I warn you today, repent, repent, repent and be saved. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior for no flesh shall enter heaven. And no man shall enter into heaven without accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior because he died for the world. He died to redeem us. My friends, hallelujah, salvation is a free gift today, my friends. Jesus Christ loves you very much and he wants to save you today. Yes, I want to pray quickly before I leave because my time is already up today, beloved and friends. Those who are sick today, when you're sick unto death, if you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, heart problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, if you're suffering with post cancer, my friends, if you're suffering with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety God gonna touch you and heal you this morning if you are suffering today you have a migraine headache if you have arthritis today is your day for a miracle if you have a mental sickness today is your day for healing if your demon possess today is your day for a miracle where have you listening from this morning from the USA the UK Canada the Caribbean or any part of this world today beloved and friends is your day for a miracle whenever you listen to this message Today is your day for a miracle. Right now, I feel a tremendous anointing this Sunday morning in this room. And I know many are getting healed right here today in the name of Jesus online. Those who will be watching online later, yes, you're going to receive the same healing today in the name of Jesus. Or if you're watching right now in the name of Jesus, as I sent for the anointing right now, be here in the name of Jesus, we said free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities. Many are healed from AIDS, from cancer, from COVID, from diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, blood issue, blood dialysis problem. Many have been healed and set free from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, beloved and friends. It's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ promised. He says he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes I am healed. You are healed. We are healed this morning. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Thank God for the healings. Thank God for the deliverance today. He took 39 stripes upon his back for my sicknesses and your sicknesses and pain a disease beloved and friends it's real today jesus christ took it according to medical doctors there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease in this world but jesus christ took a stripe for each one of those sicknesses and that is why we can say in the name of jesus be healed today let me go a bit further god created man out of dust and bring it to his nostrils and man became a living soul yes the god who formed us out of dust 
knows every bone, every marrow, every joint, every kidney, every organ, every tissue, every part of our body. My friends, there is no big deal for him to touch you and heal you today in the name of Jesus. Many are healed. The man who designed this watch knows every part, how it's functioning. And so God who made us knows everything for us. I know many are healed today, many are delivered, many are set free. Write me, text me, many are healed from migraine headache, from arthritis pain, from cancer. Many have received new organs in their body. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Beloved, go back and check with the doctors. Many here are healed this morning. Yes, go back, those of you, go back and check with the doctors. Let them check you, you are healed. That sickness and disease has left your body. You are no longer sick sick you are made whole by the power of God Jesus Christ is your healer that's the power and the miracle of God hallelujah let's give him a big hand today hallelujah it has been a joy and great privilege this morning beloved this Sunday morning to be here to minister the word of God God bless you richly do enjoy this blessed Lord's Day I'll see you in the next session in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful